communion on the feast day of St. Andrew the Apostle. We are glad that uh, those of you, of you who are here with us in the chapel or with us uh, in, in person, but we also uh, bid you welcome who are joining us by way of the internet. Thank you for being with us. The Lord be with you. And with you. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worldly magnify thy holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Hear what our Lord Jesus Christ saith: Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, Christ have, have mercy, mercy upon us. us. Lord, have mercy upon us. The Lord be with you. With thy spirit. Let us pray. Almighty God, who didst give such grace unto thy holy apostle St. Andrew, that he readily obeyed the calling of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and followed him without delay, grant unto us all that we, being called by thy holy word, may forthwith give up ourselves obediently to fulfill thy holy commandments. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, give us grace that we may cast away the works of darkness and put upon us the armor of light. Now in the time of this mortal life in which thy son Jesus Christ came to visit us in great humility, that in the last day when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge both the quick and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal through him who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Ghost, now and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the epistle. The epistle is written in the 10th chapter of the epistle of Paul, the apostles, apostle to the Romans, beginning at the 9th verse. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent, as it is written, How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace, and bring glad tidings of good tidings, of good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel, for Elias saith, Lord, who hath believed our <coughs> report? So then, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily their sound went into all the earth, and their words unto the ends of the world. But I say, did not Israel know? First Moses saith, I will provoke you to jealousy by them that are no people, and by a foolish nation I will anger you. 
But Elias is very bold and saith, I was found of them that sought me not. I was made manifest unto them that asked not after me. But to Israel he saith, All day long I have stretched forth my hands unto a disobedient and gainsaying people. Here endeth the epistle. Gospel is written in the fourth chapter of the Gospel according to St. Matthew, beginning the 18th verse. Jesus, walking by the Sea of Galilee, saw two brothers, Simon called Peter and his brother, and Andrew, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. And he saith unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. And they straightway left their nets and followed him. Going on from thence, he saw two other <clears throat> brethren, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, in a ship with Zebedee, their father, mending their nets, and he called them. And they immediately left the ship, <clears throat> excuse me, they immediately left the ship and their father and followed him. Praise be to thee, O Christ. <clears throat> Page 71, we confess our common faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, the begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who good for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary and was made man, and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again according to his scriptures and ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of the Father, and that ye shall come again with glory to judge both the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord and the giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who is saved by the gods. And I believe in one Catholic and Apostolic Church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. And I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Please be seated for a short meditation on the life of St. Andrew. Good afternoon, and thank you all for joining us, both here and if you're watching on TV or, I'm sorry, on your computer, we welcome you as well. As we celebrate and recognize the special date dedicated to martyr, apostle, St. Andrew. St. Andrew, apostle of the Lord. Andrew was the brother of Simon Peter. In fact, he was in part responsible for Peter's call, for he went and found his brother Simon and brought him to Jesus. Andrew was a fisherman by trade. He was a follower of John the Baptist. 
before being called by Jesus as a disciple. It was Andrew who told Jesus about the boy with the loaves and fishes at the feeding of the 5,000. Andrew also assisted in the distribution of the food on that occasion. Tradition tells us that Andrew worked among the Scythians, ancient inhabitants of a part of modern Russia. He has long been the patron saint of Russia. And Andrew is also the patron saint of Scotland. And the Scottish flag bears the X-shaped cross usually associated with him. It is believed that he was bound to such a cross and thus met his death at the hands of an angry pagan. Today, members of the Brotherhood of St. Andrew emulate his actions of going to and finding his brother and taking him to Christ. The Brotherhood of St. Andrew is, a, is an informed association of men and boys in the Episcopal Church in the United States. Almighty God has given us such grace to your <coughs> Apostle Andrew that he readily obeyed the calling of your son, Jesus Christ, and followed him without delay. Grant that as we pray that we who are called to your holy word may offer ourselves in glad obedience to your service. Take your prayers today for Rodney Allen as he celebrates a birthday. Let us pray for the whole state of Christ Church. Almighty and ever living God, who by the Holy Apostle has taught us to make prayers and supplications and give thanks for all men, we humbly beseech thee most mercifully to accept our blessings and to receive these our prayers which we offer unto thy divine majesty, beseeching thee to inspire continually the universal church with a spirit of truth, unity, and concord, and grant that all those who confess thy holy name may agree in the truth of thy holy word, and live in unity and godly love. We beseech thee also so to direct and dispose the hearts of all Christian rulers, that they may truly and impartially administer justice to the punishment of wickedness and vice, and to the maintenance of thy true religion and virtue. Give grace, O Heavenly Father, to all bishops and other ministers, that they may both by their light and doctrine set forth thy true and lively word, and lightly and duly administer thy holy sacraments. And to all thy people give thy heavenly grace, and especially to this congregation here present, that they may hear and receive thy holy word, truly serving thee in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. 
and we most humbly beseech thee of thy goodness, O Lord, to comfort and succor all those who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity. And we also bless thy holy name for all thy servants departed this life in thy faith and fear, beseeching thee to grant them continual growth in thy love and service, and to give us grace so to follow their good examples, that with them we may be partakers of thy heavenly kingdom. Grant this, O Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our only mediator and advocate. Amen. Amen. Ye who do truly and earnestly repent of your sins and are in love and charity with your neighbors and intend to lead a new life, following the commandments of God and walking from henceforth in his holy ways, draw near with faith and take this holy sacrament to your comfort and make your humble confession to Almighty God to bow in the Almighty God, Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Maker of all things, judge of all men, we acknowledge and beware of our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most previously have committed, by the thought of the word of me, against thy divine majesty, provoking most justly thy wrath and indignation against us. We do earnestly repent, and are heartily sorry for these our misdoings. The remembrance of them is grievous unto us. The burden of them is intolerable. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. For thy Son, for our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may ever and hereafter serve and please thee in the newness of life, to the honor and glory of thy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of his great mercy hath promised forgiveness of sins to all those who with haughty repentance and through faith turn to him, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you to everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear what comfortable words our Savior Christ saith unto all who truly turn to him. Come unto me, all ye that travail and are heavy laden, and I will refresh you. So God loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son to the end that all that believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Hear also what St. Paul said, This is a true saying, and worthy of all men to be received, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Hear also what St. John said, If any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he is the propitiation for our sins. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is, is even right, so too. It is very meet, right in our bounded duty, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God, who in the multitude of thy saints has compassed us about with so great a cloud of witnesses that we, rejoicing in their fellowship, may run with patience the race that is set before us, and together with them may receive the crown of glory that fadeth not away. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord of the high. Amen. All glory to the Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, for the time of thy tender mercy, just give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there, by his one oblation of himself once offered, a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world. And in institute, and in his holy gospel, command us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death and sacrifice until his coming again. 
By the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as oft as ye shall drink it in remembrance of me. Wherefore, Lord and Heavenly Father, according to the institution of thy dearly beloved Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, we, thy humble servants, to celebrate and make here before thy divine majesty with these thy holy gifts which we now offer unto thee. The memorial thy son hath commanded us to make, having in remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty re resurrection and glorious ascension, rendering unto thee most hearty thanks for the innumerable benefits procured unto us by the same. And we most humbly beseech thee, O merciful Father, to hear us, and of thy almighty goodness, vouchsafe to bless and sanctify with thy word and Holy Spirit these thy gifts and creatures of bread and wine, that we, receiving them according to thy Son, our Savior Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. And we earnestly desire thy fatherly goodness mercifully to accept this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, most humbly thus it be to grant, that by the merits and death of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, we and all thy own church may obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies, to be a reasonable, holy, and living sacrifice unto thee, humbly beseeching thee that we and all others who shall be partakers of this holy communion may worldly receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, be filled with thy grace and holy benediction, and made one body with him, that he may dwell in us and we in him. And although we are unworthy through our many fellow sins to offer unto thee any sacrifice, Yet we beseech thee to accept this our bounden duty and service, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. Amen. <coughs> and now as our Savior Christ hath taught us, we are bold to say, our Father, glory in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. We do not presume to come to this thy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table, but thou art the same Lord, whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so that we eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed through his most precious blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. O Lamb of God, that taketh away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that taketh away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that taketh away the sins of the world, grant us the peace.
blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, preserve thy body and soul, the everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty and ever living God, we most heartily thank thee for that thou dost Christ's sake to be us, who have duly received these holy mysteries, with the spiritual food and most precious body and blood of thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and thus assure us thereby of thy favor and goodness towards us, and that we were very temperate and corporate to the mystical body of thy Son. Which is the blessed company of all faithful people, and are also heirs to hope of thy everlasting kingdom, by the merits of his most precious death and passion. And we humbly beseech thee, O Heavenly Father, so that to assist us with thy grace, that we may continue in thy open fellowship, and do all such good works as thou hast prepared for us to walk in, through Jesus Christ our Lord. To whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Glory to God on high. And on earth, peace, good will towards men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord God, that every king, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, O Lord of God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takes away the sins of the world, and have mercy upon us. Thou that takes away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord, thou only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, our most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The peace of God, which passeth all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks to you.